to this videos? If we make 5000 likes to this video, we will implode more patriotic news. Thank you. Lynch's emails just leaked from tarmac meeting with Bill Clinton. See before deleted. Newly released documents obtained by the American Center for Law and Justice show that members of the mainstream media are knowingly colluding with Hillary's campaign. Watch the infamous moment below at the 30 seconds mark. Let me repeat that. The Justice Department colluded with Washington Post and the New York Times to tamp down stories relating to the Attorney General's infamous meeting with Bill Clinton, according to this shocking report. You can read that here. Comey's FBI lied to us. The ACLJ submitted FOIA requests to Comey's FBI and the Lynch Dodge about the Clinton Lynch plane meeting. James Comey was the head of the FBI at the time. The response they got was no records responsive to your request were located. Here's what Varney and CO had to say about the story. Stuart Varney said on Fox the following, Liz McDonald, I am hoping I can put it to rest. The New York Times reporter apologetically says he is being pressed into service to cover the story. A Dodge Press official says, I talked with the ABC producer he said he's not interested in covering it even if Fox goes with it. Stuart Varney, this is collusion between reporters, specifically the Washington Post, and the Department of Justice. It's time to lock up the traitors in the White House. If you are tired of the media's attacks on President Trump, do the following, share this on your social media. Comment lock them up if you want the White House to start taking action. Build IT teams are going insane over what Jeff Sessions just did about Trump's wall. A lot of people were surprised when President Trump decided to keep Jeff Sessions after his Twitter attacks last week. So why did the president change his mind? Loyalty. Jeff Sessions has been one of Trump's biggest supporters since day one. Today, the attorney general declared with conviction that the only way to truly stem the flow of gangs and illegal immigrants is to build the wall now. Jeff Sessions had a sit-down with Tucker Carlson on Fox News to talk about his crackdown on the El Salvadorian gang MS-13. Sessions has a plan to take out these criminal monsters once and for all, but he needs the Republicans to come through for him. Well, we need the wall. We need better enforcement at the border. And we need to be able to deport people rapidly who enter the country illegally. And we have to end this policy of taking unaccompanied minors. Pretty simple, right? Well, it seems like that, but it seems like the left does not want us to secure our borders. And a wall would have no effect on people coming here legally. The old policies must be ended. They are unsustainable for our country. Are you glad to see Sessions working for Trump again? Comment and share everywhere. Newt Gingrich just leaked what evil thing Mueller is planning for Trump. This is serious. Newt Gingrich warned last night that there's corruption in the Justice Department. He said that nobody should trust that the Russian investigation will be fair. Special Counsel Robert Mueller has impaneled a grand jury against our president. Mueller is changing the targets, says Gingrich. The articles, on the grand jury, this morning say, gee. It looks like Russian collusion is going to be hard to prove, maybe because it didn't happen, the former Speaker of the House said. Newt Gingrich didn't hold back. He warned that Mueller's team is a bunch of headhunters who are playing the ultimate game in order to take down President. When the government comes at her you, no matter who you are, including the President, you have to be worried about the sheer power of the lawyers coming after you. They see Donald Trump as their mortal enemy. He summed up. If you're tired of the deep state attacking our president, then share this article on your wall. The government is not the solution to the problem. It is the problem and it has become increasingly obvious. Media in flames Chuck Todd just threatened Jeff Sessions with heinous crime. What is it that the liberals always say? Where there is smoke, there is fire. Well, forget the smoke because the mainstream media has broken into a massive firestorm after Jeff Sessions announced he will be cracking down on leakers who damage our great nation. So who took the stupid cake today when it came to making dumb comments? 
The winner is, drum roll dot 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 Chuck Todd. Chuck Todd said he would ignore any subpoenas issued by the U.S. Justice Department. I wonder if Chuck Todd just simply hates the U.S. justice system or if he actually takes pride in breaking the law and hurting our country. Well, luckily for us, he admitted it on Twitter for all to see. Source, Twitter a bit of advice for Mr. Todd. You should not ignore your subpoenas from the Justice Department. It makes you look very guilty. If you really have not been trying to hurt the country, come forward, tell your story, and use proper legal channels. Actually, never mind that Chuck Todd. You just keep imagining your own self-importance in this situation and go back to your show. Luckily for you, Chuck, that threat was for leaking journalists. You are just an entertainer, so you're in the clear. Remember. This is the same guy who responded to the horrible Charleston massacre of an all-black church with a segment about how violent black criminals are. His judgment has shown to be dot lacking. Look, nobody is talking about going after the free press. We simply know that certain things are not meant to be published. They have no judgment. Usually the offender is more the editor than the journalist. Do you think Jeff Sessions' crackdown on leakers and the media is fair? Comment your answer and share this out so Trump can see how the people feel. Right as Trump was giving his West Virginia rally, something miraculous appeared at the White House. While President Trump was out in West Virginia at a rally on Thursday, something awesome appeared over the White House, former White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer pointed it out, that's right a double rainbow. NBC correspondent Peter Alexander got a shot from further away, isn't this the prettiest? It definitely feels like a sign that the White House is blessed. Share this awesome sign with someone you know, to show that we are blessed in our nation and our president. Leaker exposed with one sentence, Lou Dobbs guest just made Comey's worst nightmare come true. The Democrats and anti-Trump Republicans are trying everything they can do to stop Trump, including forsaking their oath of office and sharing classified intelligence with the world. This is a horrible crime and they are only doing to try and make Trump look bad when in reality they are breaking the law. Several leakers have been found and dealt with, but now that Attorney General Sessions has finally awoken from his slumber and addressed the giant holes that have been leaking like crazy for the past few months. The leakers' days are sure to be numbered. Following on the heels of Sessions' announcement to go after the leakers, Lou Dobbs' guest Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaffer came forward and shared that an insider at the FBI told him who one of the leakers was for sure. And surprise, surprise! The leaker is an FBI attorney that worked under Comey. And people asked why Comey was fired. Here's what Schaffer had to say about the leaker. LT. Call. Tony Schaffer. I think IT is great that the Attorney General is finally stepping up to do this. But some of the first places he has to look is his OWN FBI. I was told by an FBI insider the other day that one of the guys that has been leaking for sure is their very attorney. One of the FBI attorneys WHO worked for Comey is one of the leakers. Hopefully Attorney General Sessions will actually do his job and take care of the people that are violating the sanctity of their security clearance and sharing our nation's secrets for the world. The leaker Comey's people are continuing to leak. Schaeffer is exactly right that the FBI and those strongly connected to Comey should be at the top of Sessions' list of leakers to investigate. H. T. The Gateway Pun Cheap shot the IRS was just caught working with Obama to do something sick to Americans. Well shock of all shocks, not really, the Obama administration's IRS was found to have lied to the American people over how much health care would cost, according to the Washington Times. In 2010 the IRS sent out letters trying to get Americans to buy health care and comply with the individual mandate that fines people for not having health coverage. The letters claimed that health plans would cost about $75 or less a month after federal subsidies, when in reality the average cost was $168. These letters were mailed to over 7 million Americans. The Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration said of these findings, 
Many of the nearly 7.5 million taxpayers who receive letters and seek insurance may feel misled if the actual cost of their insurance is much higher than the $75 per month detailed in their notification letter. Um yeah no kidding. $75 is a long way away from $168. The IRS claims that it was using numbers from the Department of Health and Human Services and verified by the Treasury Department, but the Inspector General said it did not receive those documents after it asked for them. Trump himself said Obamacare was a lie, the evidence just keeps piling up about the lies the Obama administration sold Americans about health care. Thank God that era is finally over. Now we have a guy in charge who actually wants to give us a fair and honest deal we just need legislators to follow suit. Share this 10,000 times to expose this Obama scandal cause we know the media won't. H slash T Washington Times